So Terraform is an open source tool to build your infrastructure as a code. So this is the tool from a company called HashiCorp. Uh, yeah. So basically Terraform is an open source tool where you can define your infrastructure in a document like a JSON and uh, you can build infrastructure just by defining details in a document. It's not just building infrastructure but configuring and changing and versioning of the infrastructure safely and efficiently. So it's, it's not just configuring the details but you can version your infrastructure. So whatever the changes you are going to do further in your infrastructure, everything will be versioned and it will be given the new version number for your Terraform script document. So you can deploy infrastructures like virtual private clouds, for example, if it is on AWS. Uh, virtual machines, load balancers and applications and all everything can be deployed in a declarative way. That means the Terraform script just looks like a JSON document but with .tf extension. So it looks like a JSON document. You don't need to have any special skills to learn uh, Terraform. So it's a JSON document where you will define your infrastructures like uh, VPCs, VMs and load balancers. Everything will be in a declarative format. I will show you the sample uh, Terraform script, how it looks like. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, yeah, it looks like, see, we have we are going to provide a provider like AWS, that is uh, which cloud we are going to use to deploy our infrastructure and VPCs, virtual private cloud details, like it's a network details, how many subnets you need and cluster name and everything and Kubernetes server. Of course, if you want to deploy Kubernetes server on your AWS, cloud provider that is possible of course elastic kubernetes service of course we are going to know about what is eks and how we are going to deploy eks uh, cluster on uh, aws that is the main goal of this uh, video we are going to see this yeah basically the terraform tool can be used to deploy your infra infrastructure on not only on aws but you can deploy on azure cloud or google cloud platform or even IBM cloud and even you can deploy infrastructure on cloud cloud native environments it's just like on premises so it's a very powerful tool when you have a hybrid cloud environment in your organization this is the tool you have to go for because just having one document you can deploy your infrastructure and applications easily on different cloud environments irrespective of Azure or AWS or Google. So you will have the one source code which can be used for multiple clouds. So definitely it is a powerful tool and very useful. So every organization has to use this. Yeah, of course, and if you are using AWS, there is a cloud formation service, you can use that. Yeah, but Terraform is for hybrid cloud, of course. Yeah, your wish. Basically, Terraform has the main three commands that has to be used to deploy your infrastructure. That is a Terraform init, the first one. So it is used to initialize the Terraform tool on your laptop. Basically, you need to install the Terraform before that and you need to, when you have the Terraform script ready, first you have to run this command, Terraform init. So it will initialize the required things to deploy or whatever it is. Uh, Terraform plan. So once you have the Terraform script ready, you have defined your required infrastructure on Terraform script. So Terraform look into that your script and it will know what are the things has to be executed or deployed on AWS. It checks for your credentials and you have the proper credentials to deploy your infrastructure on cloud and it will look into each and every infrastructure details like how many VPCs, how many EC2 instances you need, and if you have defined any databases, everything. So if there is an er error in your document, the Terraform plan document will tell you that there is an error on this line, please correct it. So once you correct it, the Terraform, you had run the, this Terraform plan again, so everything is fine, then it will say you can go ahead with the Terraform apply, that is the last command. This command will take care of deploying your infrastructure on the cloud or AWS. So, so once you have, so usually to execute, to complete this uh, Terraform apply command, it takes 10 to 15 minutes. 
if it is on aws but i didn't do i didn't deploy any infrastructure on azure or uh, gcp but i have done it on aws of course we are going to see how we can leverage terraform to deploy infrastructure on aws in this video to create iam user we need to log into aws console i have this url i already logged into my aws management console and you need to go to iam or if you already logged into iam uh, previously it will show there but however now i clicked on it so now you are on identity identity and access management console click on users and click on add user give the name to your user tf test user so what are we then and you need to choose access type as programmatic access not aws management console access we are going to use this user in our program only not not to log in uh, aws management console this is the aws management console what you are seeing on the screen so we are not going to use this user to log into our management console just we need programmatic access so choose this next click on permissions we need to add this user to some group so each group will have uh, some execution rights like uh, read write or execute and uh, yeah based on user type and uh, you need to decide this user is going to access which infrastructure on your aws cloud based on that you need to assign the access rights to this specific user but for this just we are going to use some test user so that i want to give full administrator access you can see that some default uh, user groups defined by aws itself you can choose and you can go ahead with that there are different user groups for different purposes or policies whatever you say but i'm going to choose administrator access this works for our use case now create group an error occurred your request has a problem please see the test results group name yeah of course we need to give the group name as well just i have to just i will give test admin access <coughs> so create group yeah we have got once you have this user admin access group so next we need to tags just you can give like admin because it is easy to search that's the reason it will ask you but next review it on create user once you create this user you will get your access key and secret access key you need to copy this and uh, you have to copy this secret access key also so and you, you have to copy both these keys and store it on uh, your uh, notepad because it doesn't show it again so you just need to close and once you have access key and secret access key to log into your uh, aws console you need to go to command line and before uh, you have to run this command iws configure before running this command you need to install aws cli tool on your laptop otherwise this command will not work so basically using this command we are going to configure our secret access keys see it will ac access key id this is the one and once you click this it will ask ac secret access key and you have to give that but I don't want to use this user ID because uh, I already created another user for my laptop. I'm going to use that. So I'm just skipping it. I just I want to show you how you can uh, get the secret and access keys from AWS console and how to configure on your laptop. This is the purpose of that. So even you can use access keys on Terraform script itself. For example, if you, there is a simple Terraform script, there is a provided module, there you have to give like uh, 
access key whatever it uh, that the one that we have got it from here uh, like this and secret key turn on whatever it is so if you configure like this you don't need to configure these credentials using aws cli tool on your laptop but it is always safe not to give this uh, secret keys on a terraform script because uh, it should not be exposed outside world because when you uh, save this uh, terraform scripts on your bitbucket or your git it can be exposed to other team members maybe some security issue so better always hide the secret keys as much as possible so this is uh, how you can um, configure secret and access keys of aws on your laptop so that you can connect to aws cloud from your laptop easily and next you can run commands to deploy infrastructure using terraform and we are going to see how we can uh, deploy using uh, terraform all the infrastructure that is required for you